Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I have a silver bird padlock. This is the exact same padlock that Lockpicking Lawyer had in his video 888 titled The Unusual Silver Bird Padlock, A Toolmaker's Challenge. I was loaned both the padlock and the turning tool by Peter South. You can see that the turning tool was curved perfectly formed by him to fit the keyway of this. It is also etched in the side or uh, filed in the side here that, uh, for this indentation to fit the nub down this padlock perfectly. And so it hugs it below and it hugs it above it. So it is very secure and does not move. Let's go ahead and demonstrate that. You stick it in, turn it around, it falls down, and then it hugs onto that nub right there. You can see that it's not coming in or out and it is just securely hugged onto that nub. So we have a very good turning tool. Let's go ahead and show that in action. So let's put, it, put some uh, pressure on here. Got one on that side, down there again. I think that side might be good. It's not that side yet. Usually it seems to go side by one side at a time. So let's check this side over here again. Yeah, there we go. And there's our open. So you can see that this turning tool holds this very snugly, very securely. It is ideal for this lock. So we, there we go, we take that out. And because it is a tool maker's challenge, I wanted to take that challenge myself and I talked to Peter about how he made this, and I just, I don't have the, the patience, the time, or really I don't think the know-how to quite mess with um, hitting this up, softening the metal, and getting it curved yet. That would just take a little time for me. He did a superb job on this. So what I did is I took a windshield wiper blade, and I cut it straight down the middle with my bandsaw. That's all this is. So let's give this one a shot real quick. And I did go as far as to at least measure, so it fits right there on that nub. In fact, I'm not sure if I showed that nub yet, so let's show that nub real quick. It's in the top here, you can see it. Down there, that silver thing that's glowing in there. So right there, that's the nub that we're grabbing onto. You can see a little shadow behind it. So yeah, I believe that, yeah, there is and just a little nub hanging out there, almost like a pen. And so yeah, my tool just fits perfectly down there and I have to just secure it, push it down onto it to make it secure. And then add our turning pressure. And you can see that it does, it is not quite, it goes to the side a little bit, unlike Peter's, is more secure. And Peter's is way more secure than this one. So this one does have a little difference on it, and I don't think it's binding on a pin though, so I think we are good. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. Go. There we go, we're getting some on this side now. There we go. That one popped back out on that side. Check the bottom here. And there's our open. So there we go. And the reason why I wanted to take the challenge and try a different tool is because you can see, and it's a good reminder, just in general, that for two things, that sometimes a key like this, and I've had a few locks like this lately, a key can be very intimidating, especially a key way. But if you take some time, and especially like Peter did, take your time and really figure out what's going on, you can create a superb, just an amazing tool that is ideal for your lock. And that is half the part of getting these, these more unique locks as you move up the belts and the um, security and stuff. And you can also sometimes just get away with something simple that will get by just to get it open. So that's just uh, another reminder. Keep your mind open. If you see something online, just investigate. And the reason why I did is because all I did was I just took my light and I shined it down in here 
And I looked myself, and I saw that nub in there. And so I was like, all right, here we go. And sure enough, it works. But yeah, again, just not, not near as gorgeous as this. You can see even he, he heat treated it to melt, to, um, get it soft, uh, the mold it and everything. Just, ah, uh, gorgeous. But anyways, thanks to Peter South for loaning this to me. And um, I do have to agree um, with Lock Picking Lawyer. There are some locks that are just toolmakers challenges. And um, there are multiple ways about going about those. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.